Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today we're looking at production of the all-new 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz compact crossover pickup truck. It's rolling down the line. And so today we're gonna see how the sausage is made. Hyundai has just launched production of the all-new 2022 Santa Cruz compact crossover pickup truck at their assembly plant in Montgomery, Alabama. This means those on the early reservation rolls can start getting excited that their new groundbreaking vehicles are on the way soon. The new Santa Cruz will share the assembly line with several Hyundai models built wow. at the same flexible assembly good. plant, including the Sonata, Elantra, Santa Fe, and Tucson. The plant features its own in-house steel stamping plant where major chassis structure and exterior body panels are made on site. The side panels of the Santa Cruz are stamped out of a single sheet of steel, making them stronger, lighter, and less susceptible to flex and corrosion by eliminating unnecessary seams. Sophisticated robots do the core work of assembling the underlying body structure, setting panels accurately into place, and taking care of all the spot welds in a way that's consistent vehicle after vehicle. Once all the pieces and panels have been quality checked, the whole set is sent into the deep dip of electrocoating for primer, where every single crevice and corner of the steel is coated. From there, it's speed dried for paint. Sealant is applied to several areas of the structure, both by robots and human hands, to assure that all the seams and strategic spots are watertight. Completed bodies then head to the automated paint shop where robots provide consistent and sanitary painting quality. After another speed dry, the painted bodies are given a thorough once-over for any finish imperfections by workers before electrical components, wiring harnesses, soundproofing, door hardware, and interior assemblies begin to be installed. You'll note the bright colored plastic shields laid over the fresh bodywork. This is to protect the paint from scratching or dings during the assembly process. Across the campus, the Montgomery assembly plant also builds all of the engines for the Santa Cruz on site, including the 2.5 liter base engine and the 2.5 liter turbo. This is an uncommon feature for this assembly plant as most have their engines shipped in from other places. From there, the engine and transmissions are married to the chassis subframes and installed to the bodies as finished components along with the suspension, axles, and brake assemblies. Other large components like radiator supports and bed liners are installed as well. In the trim shop, most of the interior components are installed through the aid of several machines to reduce lifting effort and speed proper placement such as the dash assembly and seats. Each vehicle's seating, dash, and interior trims are staged and ready depending on the options for that individual vehicle. Automated machines install tires and wheels, torquing down all five lug nuts simultaneously. This process takes place in only a few seconds. One of the last items installed are the finished door assemblies complete with glass, lift motors, and door panel trims. A few last checks for fit and finish at the end of the line, and each Santa Cruz is sent out the door for staging to be shipped. A few are taken out on the on-site test track for quality assurance, put through a battery of simulations to make sure there aren't any production issues that need to be addressed on the factory floor. All right, my friends, now you know how a Hyundai Santa Cruz is actually put together. I have to say, a Hyundai's got a pretty good manufacturing facility down there, engines and stamping, and a lot of what goes into the car is built right on site. Very rare in the automotive industry. So if you're waiting for your own Santa Cruz, if you've ordered one, or if you're thinking about buying one now, you know how they're made. You've seen it happen. So if you like videos like this, I invite you to see our latest one right there. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right down there. Either way, stay tuned.